you know, I'm very fortunate to be brought up in Limerick. I've had some great memories. I have some great memories, and uh, I hope I have many more. Uh, the lapel, I, th I think it means a little more. I think it means it's uh, we're brothers when you wear a lapel, if you like. You're, um, I could say that uh, when you meet somebody at the bus stop or at the train station, or you meet him on a flight, or you meet him somewhere, and you're wearing the badge, I think it'll give us something in common to talk, to speak about. So, um, you know, I'm pleased the way it's turned out. I think uh, everybody's done a great job. And, uh, you know, I, I'll wear it with pride. Hi, this is Richard Lynch. You're watching ILoveLimerick.com and today we're at the Hunt Museum at the launch of the new lapel pin created as part of the Going For Gold campaign that is designed to instill pride in Limerick. Why did you decide to be involved with this Design and Label campaign for Limerick? I suppose, uh, you know, I've uh, always been conscious of trying to help out Limerick in my, in my local area, same as any of the people that are competing in the Going for Gold programme are. Um, and, uh, you know, I think JP does a lot of work as well for the city and it's, uh, it's not a lot of hassle for me to come along today and, and, and say a few words and help out. I think a lot of other people have done a, a lot more work behind the scenes. You know, it's 700 entries, I think, for the lapel competition as well, which is fantastic and just goes to show um, that the message has been spread and that, you know, there'll be, you know, it's, it's 700 kids actively involved in, in designing a, a lapel that shows pride in the county and the city. So it's, um, you know, the message is getting out there and it's a great programme to be involved in. Do you think this lapel is going to create a greater sense of community? I think it will. I think it will. I think people will be striving for this lapel and uh, they know the significance of it. So I think it's going to be, I think it's the great girl who did that, who designed it, she's absolutely wonderful. I think it's um, wonderful, it's, very, it's great that uh, JP has been involved in it and City Council and this combined effort uh, to bring out the best in people. Alan, you were one of the judges to decide which lapel won, why was this the one? The reason was I thought it was simple, it was a nice idea, beautifully executed. Um, you know, a lapel badge is a very small thing and you need to see at a glance what it's all about. So a lot of the ideas were quite elaborate, very beautifully produced. Uh, but this one I just thought went straight to the heart of the matter, literally. And uh, the lovely green came up and uh, there was some nice detail in it and, uh, you know, the, the, done in the shape of Limerick. It was a perfect, perfect design and it, made, it was made even better by the fact that it was designed by a very talented ten-year-old in Anna, you know. So uh, really, you know, we got 700 entries, couldn't have asked for a better response and couldn't have got a better winner. So Helen, you were one of the judges that decided that this was the winning lapel. What made you decide this was the winning lapel? Uh, from the beginning, when we put them all out on the table, this was the winner. From the outset, it was it just uh, stood out. Uh, there's lovely, wonderful um, examples of people's art. Some were very artistic, some were contemporary, some were very traditional. Um, but this just stood out. I think something to do with the shape of the county and the colour and uh, the I Love Limerick little bit included. Oh, a red heart is in that logo. <laughs> exactly. So I think it just, uh, um, it's just from the beginning, it's the winner, yeah.
So Sinead, the competition was open to primary, secondary and third level education students and yet a little 11 year old girl from a primary school won it. That's right Richard, we were delighted for her but we actually didn't know who, uh, what age group each of the entrants were when we were looking at everything. You know, you might have hazarded a guess but you didn't actually know. So it was wonderful for Anna and we're delighted for her and it's a beautiful lapel pin, we're all delighted with the results. And why did you decide this was the winning lapel? Um, I suppose everything. One, it had the beautiful heart saying, I love Limerick. And that's basically the, the message we want to get across. Uh, we want people to be very positive about Limerick. And it's an attractive piece to wear and it captures the city and county beautifully. So I'm here with Anna, who created this amazing lapel that is changing the face of Limerick and creating an amazing sense of community in Limerick. Anna, how did you come up with this amazing creative concept? Well, I just thought of Limerick and every, all the basic things I thought in my mind, I just put it onto paper. So tell me, what's the significance of the castle and the heart? Well, that's the crest of Limerick, so I put that on and I put the heart because I just love it. And it's great fun and stuff and bright and catches your eye. How important do you think it is to be creative and to be involved with stuff like this that creates a greater sense of community in Limerick? Oh, very important. Very important. And did it create excitement at your school? Oh yeah, we had great fun and my principal brought me around to the classes to tell everyone. He was, very, he was very excited. And are Mummy and Daddy proud of you? Yeah, very. Have you anything that you'd like to say to the people of Limerick about Limerick? <laughs> well, I just love it and I hope you do too. And how important do you think pride is in Limerick City and instilling a sense of pride in Limerick City? That's yeah, very important. I think it's just, you know, it's a great place to live. It's a great place to grow up and, um, you know, I don't think there's any harm in... in, in us telling people that and, and us telling each other that and uh, that's what the lapel gives people a chance to do you know when you're at a bus stop or at an airport or whatever and someone sees it they might ask you about it. and it's a chance to speak about Limerick to accentuate the positives of the city and the county and as JP says it's important to grow that kind of pride from the grassroots and from kids up and that's what you know having a competition does. This is the legend Paul O'Connell thank you Paul O'Connell. Thanks for it. Cheers Richard. <laughs> We're here today to launch uh, this great initiative by JP and the Going for Gold team. Uh, the Going for Gold uh, lapel pin. Unfortunately, I didn't bring a jacket with a lapel. Uh, of course, I, wrote, I wore my shirt. I had to borrow a jacket there for the photos earlier, so apologies. Um, it's a really lovely piece of work designed by none other than the 11 year old Anna Kinsella, whom we met today. Uh, she was winner for more than 700 entries. And the pin is a symbol that you're a supporter of Limerick. Sorry. The pin is a symbol that you're a supporter of Limerick City and County. And when I say supporter, I do not mean that you're one that sits on the sidelines. If you're wearing the pin like I am now, you're signed up to be an activist in support of Limerick City and County. How do you do this? Um, I suppose there's dozens of ways, um, hundreds of ways in fact. Uh, first and foremost, we can accentuate the positives of Limerick. We can support local businesses, get involved in sports clubs, youth clubs, musical societies to help the young and influence and mentor them. We can literally pick up a piece of paper off the ground, such as the regard we hold for Limerick and the place where we live. I suppose that a few things will happen when you wear the pin. What will happen hopefully is when you wear the pin people will recognise it and ask you about it and uh, first and foremost it provides an opportunity for a chat which is never a bad thing and secondly it gives the wearer a chance to speak about Limerick and to show pride in the city and county. You might want to remind them about our hurlers great win in the Munster final in front of 50,000 people recently. Things you might want to tell them about the best, one of the best university campuses in the world, our obsession with sport, the beautiful village of Adair, Nancy Blake's, the Milk Market, the Hunt Museum, King John's Castle, proximity to Shannon Airport, and some of the most beautiful lakes in Europe, Toman Park, Ballyhora, the list is endless. And um, I think the pin is a nice, unassuming way of letting people know we are proud of our county and proud of our city. We're going to keep improving it, and most importantly, we are a close-knit, tight, and united community. So as I said, thanks very much to JP and Noreen for inviting me here to, to launch the pin. Um, 
I hope this is just the start of, uh, or I hope this is just a continuation of all the great work from the Going for Gold campaign, and uh, I hope it's a big success. So thanks very much, everyone. <laughs>